Hello and welcome to Crafternoon. I'm Miss Mary and I'm here at the Pacific Grove Public Library and today we are making a very fun craft. Well, I think so. Um, they are yarn creatures. Um, so you can see the googly eyes. Um, I've got like a little nose. Uh, ears and there are some feet. Um, so this is lots of fun. Um, there's cardboard underneath here. And what I've done is I've already hole punched the two holes for the feet. These are my hole puncher. And this is just on my granola bar uh, box. So just go ahead and use some recycled cardboard. Um, you're also going to need, right, the feet. So this is a black pipe cleaner. And it's about, I have my ruler here, so. It is about six inches, so six inches, so three, whoops, three for each feet. And um, you'll see that I've uh, been measuring the yarn and you're actually going to need 108 inches. So um, this is 108.9 times around. And you're probably gonna need two of those. I have two colors. And they mentioned googly eyes. Oops, there we go. And something for the ears, and then something for a mouth or a nose. So to get started, um, you're going to want to first um, create the feet. So let me bring this down. There we go to my workspace. And I'm going to make it even. I'm just going to cut it in half like that. And now that they're single, I can just go ahead and thread them through and then I can kind of create a quick twist and then I can make some feet and I'm going to tuck it under to make it a little bit thicker there we go oops <laughs> we can make them straight there's one foot and here's the other so once again I'm just going to thread it through and give it a twist at the bottom. One twist is usually good, maybe two. And then I'm just gonna bend it to kind of make it a foot shape and make sure that they're together. There we go. So, oops, <laughs> there's the feet. And um, you can see them sideways. So yes, those come look like boots. Okay, so once you've had the feet, um, you're gonna wanna use the yarn and this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, you won't need to glue it. You're just gonna wrap it. So when you start, make sure you've got a thumb or a finger to secure it. And you're just gonna kind of wrap. Don't wrap too tight like I'm doing. I'm gonna loosen it up so that the cardboard remains flat. And I wanna make sure I try to disguise the cardboard. Certainly around the feet. And once I feel pretty confident, then I'm going to kind of move up because I have another color. Um, I'm not too worried about any cardboard gaps. I'm just trying to keep it more or less flat. Okay, I'm going to stop here because we need to add the ears. And I kind of like that triangle shape for the ears. So I've got a piece of orange paper. And I'm just going to create two triangles. And I'll take my glue stick and let me see, make sure they look pretty, pretty similar. And I'll put some glue on the back and I can do one, I can put in the back or I can put in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put in the front and there we go, close to the top. There we go. And then the next one. And I'll try to be careful I don't get glue on my desk. And I'm going to put it right next to it. Just like that. Okay, I have my ears. I'm going to continue winding. And I'm just going to tuck it underneath. And I can do that in the back. Okay, so now I think it's looking pretty good. I have blue to make it um, kind of a little more exciting with a different color, but you can choose one color is fine. You'll just need to have more, um, and it'll have to be longer than 109 inches. And I need to make sure I definitely 
Watch out for those feet and cover it close to where the ears are. There we go. Once again, I'm gonna to try to keep the cardboard as flat as I possibly can. And there we go. Let's watch out for those little toes at the end. Okay, great. And I'm just gonna tuck it in. Whoops, I'm gonna tuck it in the back instead of the front. Kind of disguise the end. Oops, well, that's not a great place. Let me tuck it in over here. Disguise it with the other yarn. See how that works. Hmm. All right. I'm going to put it dig down deep to the orange and put it under. Okay. I think that's looking very secure. So that's the back. There is the front. Okay. I have my feet and ears and I need to give my creature some eyes. So I will take the googly eye, put some glue on the back. And one thing about whoops, but the googly eyes, they will need to dry and because they're not going to, uh, before they stick. So I'll put them on, but they won't stick too well until the glue is actually dried. All right. And I've got one more eye. There's my little creature. Okay. Oops. There we go. And I need a nose. I think I'll make or a mouth. Oh, well, maybe my monster will have a straight across mouth. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's see how that works. And I will put glue on the back. Oh, not monster, excuse me, creature. Uh, just like that. All right, so let's take a look. I have my two creatures and they're right here. And I had a lot of fun making these, so I hope you do too. And thank you so much for wa watching and keep on crafting. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.